To sum up my entire career as a surfer would be tough. I think, I guess just say it was a joy ride. You know, I had a fantastic time doing it. I loved what I did. I surfed every event and every session with, with love and passion. And, and I had a blast, you know? I uh, walked the line of being focused, but not too focused. And I got to really enjoy the places and I really got to enjoy the cultures. And I feel like I really got to experience the world. It just seems like surfing was just a byproduct of everything else I got to do. Cause I would be surfing anyway, you know? All I had to do was put on a jersey and we called it a competitive surfing, but I was doing it anyway. The highlights of the CT was making the CT. When I first made it, Mark Acalupo was still on tour, Sonny Garcia, Kalani Robb, Shane Dorian, Andy was fresh on tour, Bruce was fresh on tour. All those guys I looked up to so much. And just becoming not only a peer, but a friend. I'm a full surf groupie, as well as a surf professional, so I guess I win both ways. <laughs> The downfalls of the CT would definitely have to be trying your best and trying so hard and then maybe mother nature doesn't give you the wave or, or you get a bad call from the, the judges. You see after doing it over time that it's stressful and it hurts, it tears at every part of you because you want to do so well for the people counting on you, for your friends at home watching, for the fans that have supported you since day one. There's a lot of pressure to perform and that second that you don't perform you could be gone, You're, you could get clipped from your sponsors, you can fall off the WCT tour, and your paycheck can get cut drastically. It kind of was just eating away at me whether I wanted to keep doing what I was doing, you know? It's stressful, and I'm one of those guys that I go off feelings and I want to be happy. I fell out of love for competitive surfing in a way. I wasn't free surfing as much. I wasn't going to the gym as much because I just thought, why? Do I really have to prolong my career another two or three years before maybe I'm pushed out by the younger generation? Like, wh when do I make this choice? And in Tahiti is really where I made the choice. I, I told the guys at WSL, guys, I only want to surf my first heat at lowers. And that was really it, you know? I, I put my foot in the ground and I just told myself that that was gonna be my last heat. And uh, mentally and emotionally, it's a lot. You know, people don't realize that. You know, I, I paddled out to that heat and that night I couldn't really sleep. There was a hundred ways I thought it was gonna end in my head. And getting a 10 and an 890, whatever the other wave I got, I think it was maybe the highest heat total of the event. It was the only perfect 10 at an event. I didn't ever think that it would end that way for me, especially knowing that that was my last heat. It wasn't spontaneous at all. It was the universe giving me a high five and saying, hey, Freddie, you're out. We'll see you later, <laughs> you know? Have fun on this wave. And I did, so it's great. I intend to not put a jersey on for the rest of 2015 and then regather my thoughts and possibly do a few events come 2016. I intend to go to the events, you know, cheer on my friends that are in the event, bring my daughter, my wife, and my son down there and just enjoy those events. And I look forward to that, you know. Eventually I'm gonna have to get like a big boy job. Uh, and I don't mind it. I've been talking to Quicksilver about that already and they're finding a position for me. But I'd also like to work with um, different foundations within our community where I can help. I wanna do things that don't necessarily make me money, but make me happy. And I also just wanna travel, surf. I wanna go and chase a swell. I haven't gotten to do that in so long. You know, the, the tour just keeps me so busy and, and every time that there's a break within the tour, I'm doing things with my family. So I want to go chase some swell with my family now, you know? Just do that for a little bit. I don't want to completely stop being a pro surfer. I want to be a different kind of pro surfer, a different kind of person.